Hey everyone, FishyWizard5 here, and I am going to give a brief review, or not uh, review, but uh, first impression of what I feel about the Sanctum of Rebirth. Now, on release, day one, as you guys can see, I have like, I think three kills so far. Not, not many, but, uh... I feel like I've I've done enough, like, you know, the last two kills I've done, just barely used any food, just, uh, you know, one, one, one th cycle through them, not one cycle, but you know what I mean. Pretty, pretty fairly simple after you figure out all the, uh, all the little kinks and, you know, mechanics here and there. So, I think the bosses are pretty cool overall. It's a very, very different take on almost all other bosses. I'm not entirely sure if it really fits the RuneScape 3 aesthetic, and I'll explain why. So, almost all of the bosses have a key mechanic of dodging a, like, square. You have to move out of a square. And... Th that would be nice in a lot of other games where, you know, attack range didn't matter or you didn't really have to um, stay in one spot. But unfortunately, for RuneScape 3, for almost every single style, except for, uh, you know, good old necromancy here, you have to stay in one spot to really do damage. R like, ranged in magic, you want to stay in your sunshine to just pump damage. Melee, you have to literally be melee distance of a monster to even hit it. So, the only style, like, at least of right now, that I think you can even do these, these bosses in relatively, you know, in a, in a relatively good speed is Necromancy. You, you just cannot stay still at all to use the other three styles, which is pretty poor design in my opinion, but... You know, I don't know if that that's why I'm saying like I don't know if this boss was it was made for like a runescape boss. Because you know, you having to move so much really, really messes with uh the DPS of the other styles. That being said, it is a pretty interesting mechanic having to dodge so many, you know, uh so many specials and stuff like that. And I'll and I'll show on screen, you know, uh my footage of my kills. It's, uh... It, it feels like you're playing a bullet hell, not RuneScape 3. But it, it's... As of right now, I think it's pretty fresh. In a week from now, will I still like it? I don't know. After, like, 200 kills, will I still like it? Well, we'll, we'll see. Now, I will say... I, I have not been liking the recent trends of RuneScape 3 bosses being, you know, being a lot easier than, uh, like, the new bosses that drop new equipment is a lot easier than the old boss that dropped the previous equipment, aka, you know, Virago on release versus AOD on release. You know, AOD was just so pathetically easy, and then Virago was so ridiculously hard, even though AOD just completely power crept Virago. Now, this is directly power creeping AOD. Is it worthy of power creeping AOD? Um, honestly, as of right now, I would have preferred a boss harder in more ways than just having to freaking dodge squares. But it is pretty annoying, so... <laughs> You know, I, I'm 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 leaning towards no, but it is pretty annoying, so that probably does detract a fair amount of people or encourages people to learn, you know, the movement of this game, which, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think the movement of RuneScape is really one of the highlights. I think compared to other MMOs, the movement of this game is pretty bad, so you having to like rely on that movement system for like the entire kill for a lot of people will feel bad but it, it is what it is at this point
So, my first impression is it's pretty cool and unique. Very unique. Is it hard enough? Probably not for, for dropping these ridiculous rewards. You know, like the tier 100 upgrades that we have to farm. Like, like we're going to have to farm. I, I know, I have to farm what? How many of these upgrades? Where, where is this fool? How many tier 95s do I have? Because of th this, uh, what, this thing here, where is it? The, the shard of Genesis Essence that upgrades your tier 95s. I know it's not required, but like, you know, it basically is required if you're an endgame PVMer. So I need one for staff of a uh, fractured staff, two for the one and orb. So that's that's already three. Then the bow, which is four. Then the langs five, six, and the exekill seven. I need seven of these, and then probably I need eight and nine for like the freaking uh the crossbows. Wait, does it say what's a legendary weapon? Does it say legend? Wait, what? Where's? No, it doesn't. So, you know, I I'm assuming all the tier 95s are legendary, but maybe they're not. Maybe it's just the two handeds. But yeah, if I need freaking nine of these eventually, that's that's insane. Like, who thought that was, that was a good idea? <laughs> we need freaking nine of those uh those shards. But yeah. It's it's this boss is decent. My my first impression overall, it's decent. Alright. I think that's pretty much all I have. Uh anyone who have any anyone who has other uh you know thoughts on Sanctum, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you all next time.